The accession of Bosnia and Herzegovina to the European Union is the stated aim of the present relations between the two entities. Bosnia and Herzegovina has been recognized by the EU as a potential candidate country for accession since the decision of the European Council in Thessaloniki in 2003 and is on the current agenda for future enlargement of the EU. Bosnia and Herzegovina takes part in the stabilization and association process and trade relations are regulated by an interim agreement. Bosnia and Herzegovina formally applied for EU membership on February 15, 2016, following years of constitutional reforms and engagements with the Dayton Peace Agreement. The failure of Bosnia to meet the conditions for the closure of the Office of the High Representative in Bosnia and Herzegovina, including addressing state and military property ownership issues and implementing constitutional reforms, had prevented the country from submitting an application until 2016. On December 9, 2016, Bosnia and Herzegovina received the accession questionnaire from the European Commission and the responses to the questionnaire were submitted in February 2018. On June 20, 2018, the European Commission sent 655 follow-up questions to the questionnaire. Presidency Chairman of Bosnia and Herzegovina at the time, Milo Radotic, handed over the answers to the additional questions on March 5, 2019. An opinion on Bosnia's application was published by the European Commission in May 2019. 22 policy and political criteria questions were still unanswered when Bosnia and Herzegovina submitted its latest response on March 5, 2019. It remains a potential candidate country until it can successfully answer all of the questions on the European Commission's questionnaire sheet as well as ensure the functioning of the Stabilization and Association Parliamentary Committee and develop a national program for the adoption of the EU Equis. Many observers estimate that Bosnia and Herzegovina is at the bottom in terms of EU integration among the Western Balkan states seeking EU membership. The EU established a regional approach to the Western Balkans in 1997, with political and economic conditionality criteria for the development of bilateral relations. The following year, an EU-Bosnia and Herzegovina consultative task force was put in place to start the process. Since 2006, the task force has been replaced by the reform process monitoring. An interim agreement on trade and trade-related issues was signed and entered into force on July 1, 2008. The interim agreement was the legal framework for trade between Bosnia and the EU between 2008 and 2015. Unilateral trade preferences were introduced by the EU for Bosnia and Herzegovina in the year 2000. Trade has increased since 2008 and EU products have been granted reciprocal preference in Bosnia and Herzegovina. The EU is the main trading partner of Bosnia and Herzegovina and 73.5% of exports from the country went to the EU in 2014, following Croatia's accession. In the 2007-2013 budgetary period, Bosnia and Herzegovina is a beneficiary of the Instrument for Pre-Accession Assistance Funds. As a potential candidate country, Bosnia is allowed to finance projects under the first two IPA components, transition assistance and institution building and cross-border cooperation. The eligibility for the three advanced IPA components will be conditional on Bosnia's acquisition of EU candidacy status and its implementation of a decentralized implementation system. Streamlining administrative capacities in order to autonomously manage projects and disperse funds with only ex post commission controls. The priorities for IPA action for Bosnia are set in the 2008 European Partnership. Bosnia and Herzegovina is currently receiving €822 million Euros of developmental aid until 2020 from the Instrument for Pre Accession Assistance, a funding mechanism for EU candidate countries. On January 1, 2008, a visa facilitation and readmission agreement between Bosnia and Herzegovina and the EU entered into force. Bosnia and Herzegovina took part in the dialogue for visa liberalization with Schengen countries, launched by the European Commission on May 26, 2008. On November 8, 2010 the Council of the European Union approved visa-free travel to the EU for citizens of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The decision entered into force on December 15, 2010. Peter Sorensen took over the position of user in Bosnia and Herzegovina from September 2011 until October 2014. His post was decoupled from the one of High Representative for Bosnia and Herzegovina, and merged with the one of Head of the EU Delegation to be. Aiming at strengthening the EU pre-accession strategy for Bosnia and Herzegovina. He was replaced by Lars Gunnar Wijmark. In 2004, 
the European Union police mission launched in Bosnia and Herzegovina constitutes the first European security and defense policy mission. The same year, U4 Althea replaced NATO's four mission. A stabilization and association process for the five countries of the region, including Bosnia and Herzegovina, was proposed in 1999. In June 2000, the European Council and FARA recognized that all the SAP countries are potential candidates for EU membership. In November of the same year, the regional SAP process was launched at the Zagreb summit. The process towards the signature of a stabilization and association agreement began in 2003 with a feasibility study by the Commission on Bosnia and Herzegovina's capacity to implement the SAW. The same year, in June. The European Council in Thessaloniki confirmed the SAP as the main framework of the relations between the EU and the Western Balkans, recalling the perspective of accession for all the countries of the region. The EU Council adopted a new European partnership with Bosnia and Herzegovina on February 18, 2008, setting the short-term and mid-term priorities for EU assistance to Bosnia and Herzegovina through IPA funds. Negotiations and signature negotiations on a stabilization and association agreement, required before applying for membership, started in 2005 and were originally expected to be finalized in late 2007. But negotiations stalled due to a disagreement over police reform. The SAW was initialed on December 4, 2007 by caretaker Prime Minister Nikola Spiric. The initialing came in the wake of successful negotiations by Miroslav Lakak in regards to passing his new quorum rules laws and also the commitment of Bosnian and Herzegovinian politicians to implementing police reform. Following the adoption of the police reforms in April 2008, the agreement was signed on June 16, 2008. Reforms promised by the Prude Agreement would build the ability of the state to meet the requirements of the EU integration process. The blockage of the SA, the final EU state to ratify the SA, France, did so in February 2011. The SA should have entered into effect within 40 days but was frozen since Bosnia had not complied with its previous obligations, which would have led to the immediate suspension of the SA. The obligations to be met by Bosnia before the SA can come into force include the adoption of a law on state aids and a national census. An implementation of the FINSAI and SATIC ruling of the ECHR requiring an amendment to the constitution to allow members of minorities to be elected to the presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina and to gain seats in the House of Peoples. The EU has also required that the country create a single unified body to manage their relations with the EU. The adoption of state laws on the issues above are prevented by the opposition of the government of the Republika Srpska, which considers such issues a matter of exclusive competence of the two entities of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The Croatian Initiative in March 2014 Croatian Foreign Minister Vesna Puzic at a session of the Council of the European Union proposed to other EU countries to grant Bosnia and Herzegovina the status of a special EU candidate country in an aid memoir submitted during the meeting. Minister Puzic pointed out that Croatia does not suggest lowering the membership criteria but rather that member states should take a proactive stance in cooperation with Bosnia and Herzegovina and not just to put high criteria and then just wait for something to happen. Croatia has also proposed that implementation of the judgment in the case of Satic and Finsai v. Bosnia and Herzegovina should not anymore be a prerequisite for Bosnia and Herzegovina's progress towards the EU but that this issue, together with the issue of a new constitutional order of Bosnia and Herzegovina, should be resolved after Bosnia and Herzegovina gets the status of special EU candidate country in negotiating chapters 23 and 24. The German-British Initiative and Initiative of the Foreign Ministers of Germany and the United Kingdom, Frank Walter Steinmeier and Philip Hammond, respectively, for the acceleration of the accession of Bosnia and Herzegovina to the European Union was announced at the so-called Aspen Initiative meeting of Ministers of Foreign Affairs in late 2014. The two proposed that the SA enter into force without first implementing the constitutional amendments required by FINSAI and SATIC, provided that Bosnian authorities approve a declaration pledging their commitment to making the reforms required for European integration. The foreign ministers called on local Bosnian politicians to begin with necessary reforms as soon as possible after a new government is formed after the 2014 Bosnian general election. The declaration was jointly signed by the tripartite presidency on 29 January, and approved by parliament on 23 February. The Council of the EU approved the SA's entry into force on March 16, 2015. The SA entered into force on June 1, 2015. 
Domestic Reactions to the German-British Initiative International Reactions to the German-British Initiative Negotiation Talks have not yet started. However, the European Commission has given an opinion on the status of various reforms since 2019. Thanks for watching.